Hi, Eric here from Laser Scanning Europe, from Laser Scanning TV. Uh, I have this very interesting question. Did you scan with an apple? <laughs> yeah, I, did, I think not with this one, but um, if you choose this one, that would be possible in, I think it's actually possible, but I check a very new solution out for you. I've been on a uh, week uh, and forensic conference in America. I had the option to see the newest development from the product. And if you're interested about the details, then watch this episode. So what, what is the interesting point on scanning with the iPad? It is possible with the newest generation would have the, I don't know if this one, I grabbed this one, I find this on the place for my colleague. Uh, if you have the newest generation would have these lighter sensor inside, uh, then uh, it's possible with an iPad and also with an iPhone, as you need the LiDAR option. And they have also an EMO inside, which is pretty a cure for such device. And both together, the guys from the product, they developed this in their software. Uh, maybe you know, we can I think show some pictures here. The product is a long time producer for um, low cost handheld scanners. They use often Android tablets and also additional sensors like PrimeSense, RealSense, Intel systems, as a different kind of sensors for different application. And now they use these internal scan unit for the Apple system. And then they um, take their software and integrated the sensor. And what is pretty new, what they don't have before is the EMO sensor. This means the inertial motion unit, what um, make an electronic or uh, what um, is a sensor that you can see if you move your device in an area. If you scan, like I scan this area, and I move further to the left side, and maybe I don't have enough structure here, or I'm a little bit too quick. If you have an optical tracking, then you often you lo lose your tracking, and this uh, device from the product, uh, the software is pretty good, then you have to go back, and you have to do it again. This is also awesome, but actually with this one, they can capture your movement to another position by the internal sensor. This helps them to um, generate quicker, uh, larger volume. And also the, the LiDAR is a very big LiDAR, as a big LiDAR system. Also I have a, have a um, huge space to scan and also very good camera. And everything together make this a really powerful tool for scan some areas. And I checked this out in America and I like to show you the video here uh, where I start the system here. And then I, will, I was able to go here this uh, floor and the floor is typical. You don't have, it looks everything more or less same as you have like flat walls. And also the color option are pretty the same. You have this orange color on the left side and the right side, and maybe you have some color information on the ground. And you can see here in the video how easy it is for me to move forward. I push now the forward button and make it a little bit quicker. And then I move in this room and I scan all these, um, these rooms in one scan, like in a minute something. And here you can see uh, that I capture everything and it was not detailed, you know, because I try it only and do not every corner there, but you see I get a full scale, uh, I get the, the, the full area. And actually they are working on the optimization of the scan data, that's not ready yet. But you can already choose the, or you can already download the beta version from the website and check this out if you have such device. I think I find this a pretty interesting solution and I see their complete new market like digital twin, like for construction companies, people that need the digital data, so they need rough data, so it's definitely not the system to scan big areas in millimeter accuracy, like with a high experience, um, or a high, not experience, high advanced uh, terrestrial scanner, this will be not co um, competition of them, but to filling out some gaps or having complete new applications like scanning for uh, to get in rough um, information how it looks like and take some measurements out uh, i think that will be a good solution like if you like to know how many square meters i have to make new carpets inside or you need only some pipes on the on the floor in construction process and you don't need the millimeter accuracy i think it's definitely an interesting device because i think the app will be between one and two thousand dollars or around per year a subscription. This is pretty cheap if you compare to a fifty thousand dollar, sixty thousand dollar scanner. Is make this iPad then a very powerful scan solution for some application. I find this pretty interesting this development, and I think we will link also to the producer website there you get more information. And like every time, if you like my show, give me a thumb up and subscribe the channel, and then I produce more of this cool stuff for you.